discuss with you the common questions which we are facing in our clinic from our patient. And the first question that we are getting asked is that, what is the effect of coronavirus have on pregnant women? Generally, pregnant women are not more susceptible to coronavirus than any other general population. But to give your answer uh, right, uh, our honest answer will be that we don't know much about coronavirus as it is a new virus to us. And if a uh, majority of the pregnant women who are getting exposed to this virus will have flu like symptoms or mild fever. But if you are pregnant, you will be more vulnerable to getting different kind of infections and you have uh, underlying conditions like asthma or heart problem, then probably the infections which you are having out of this virus will be uh, more severe. The second question which you ask because any mother are more anxious about their unborn baby. What will uh, be the effect of coronavirus on my baby if I am diagnosed with the infections? Again, we don't know much about this virus and whatever information we have, we can say that because of the coronavirus, you won't be at increased risk of miscarriage and we don't have evidence to suggest that uh, this virus will pass from you to your baby. And uh, other thing is that there is no increase of congenital malformations or abnormal baby because of these infections. In China, uh, there are some cases that women who suffered from coronavirus had preterm delivery but again we are not sure that whether it is uh, uh, very, we can apply it widely in our general population. The other question is, uh, we are getting asked that what you can do to reduce the chance of infection during pregnancy. Uh, if we uh, go from WHO uh, guideline and like any other general population, uh, the best way to avoid the pregnancy is to stay at home and whenever you're going out or whenever you're touching different things at home, wash your hand, wash your hand with soap or alcohol gel. Mm -hmm. Regarding the wearing of mask, we are a bit controversial about it. We don't know how effective it will be if you are not exposed to someone who is suspected to have the virus or who is infected. So about masks, you can get the information on the WHO uh, website. Uh, but definitely one thing which we will be saying is that wash your hand, wash your hand and wash your hand. Most of our pregnant women are working women and they uh, are asking us that whether they can go to work or not. Our advice will be if you have the opportunity to work from home then use that. But if uh, it is not like that you have to uh, go to office or uh, you are a healthcare worker and you have to uh, help other patient at this time then ask your employer if there is any other benefit then you uh, take it and if you can avoid public transport then do that okay but the take home thing is the best opportunity to work is to work from home we are getting asked that how will you know that you are getting exposed to coronavirus infection or not now the symptoms is no different from the general population even if you are pregnant if you have a newly developing cough or you are having a mild fever then consult your doctor, that can be an early sign of coronavirus infection. Now, uh, how will you be tested for coronavirus? Uh, we are not testing uh, everyone for that and you have to follow the local government protocol. If you are suspecting yourself to have been infected by the virus, consult your doctor and you will be referred to the appropriate uh, organization for your testing. Uh, what should I do if I test positive for coronavirus? Again, your doctor or the hospital staff will advise you. But if you have a mild symptoms, it will be treated more like a general flu. You will be staying at home in isolation. And if the symptoms become more severe, then you will be admitted to the hospitals which are specialized in treating this treatment. Then, uh, People are asking us that what they will be doing when they are uh, advised to uh, go for self-isolation. Uh, you'll be staying at home, don't go to work, keep yourself away from other household family members and the towels or soap or the other things which you are using should be personalized and no one else in the family should be using them. Uh, if you have the infection, uh, how will you go for that dental appointment? You call your doctor and your doctor will advise you. Probably when uh, there is uh, no patient in the clinic or the clinic is finishing off, they can call you and you can be checked during that time. But again, it depends upon the local treatment facilities that is available in your area. And the thing is, how will 
my care be managed if I have recovered from coronavirus? If you have recovered from the coronavirus, whatever evidences we are having is that we will scan you after uh, 14 days of recovery to see how the baby is doing inside the womb and uh, we'll get some more information about the baby by doing this ultrasound scan. Like any other anxious uh, pregnant lady, uh, you have a question that whether this infection will be passing on to your baby. Now, we don't have enough evidence to say that this infection transmits from the mother to the child, which we call a vertical transmission. Uh, but we have seen that if you're getting um, infecting dead in the pregnancy, the babies are not getting affected uh, because of the infection. Now, will your child be tested for coronavirus if you are uh, affected by the uh, pregnancy? And the answer is yes, if uh, you have been suspected of coronavirus or confirmed uh, to have a coronavirus infection, your uh, baby will be tested after the baby is born. Uh, then will you be staying with the baby in the same room? Now if the baby is fit and fine and there is no other indication uh, and the pediatrician is happy to uh, keep the baby with you, then obviously you will be um, staying with the baby in the same room. But again, if there is a problem, the baby will be kept separate from you. A uh, million dollar question that is coming up that whether you can breastfeed your baby. Now, at the moment, whatever evidence we have, we can say that you can uh, breastfeed the baby. Uh, the advantages of breastfeeding is far more than not breastfeeding the baby. But one thing we have to uh, remember that if you breastfeed your baby, the baby can get infected if you are coughing or uh, from you. In that case, uh, wear a mask while you are breastfeeding, wash your hand before you are touching the baby, or if there is a facility of breast pump, you can use a breast pump and then you can give it to uh, the baby. Someone else can feed the baby with the milk. And uh, uh, if you are really anxious, uh, then obviously the option of bottle feeding is there and you have to discuss with your pediatrician about it. The other question is from the women who are not pregnant but we are trying for pregnancy and they are asking us that whether you can start trying for pregnancy at this time. Uh, again, we don't have uh, big data about it but the uh, ASHRAE guideline the European Society of Reproductive Endocrinology says that those who are planning for pregnancy at that time and even they are not infected or they are not susceptible to the infection, uh, you should avoid uh, trying for pregnancy at this time. Once this crisis is over, definitely uh, you can again uh, start thinking of starting the family. So to summarize that, uh, don't uh, panic, be alert. Uh, if possible, stay at home. Clean your hands with soap and water or alcohol gel. Uh, if there is an indication, wear a mask and don't get super anxious. Uh, most of the pregnant women will be safe. Whatever the evidence we are having, we can uh, say uh, based on that. And if there is uh, any infection, I think our medical team is fully equipped to cope with that. Thank you very much. Stay uh, safe and be alive.